بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. In this short video, I'm going to introduce and present how to use JSON in order to serialize a class. So let's consider this very simple class, the class book. It has three attributes: book ID, book title, and publication date. So publication date is of type date. This is the same date class that we have been using during uh, all the, the lectures, and it has a constructor here that set methods for different attributes and a two-string method. So our intention now is to use JSON library in order to serialize and write this class uh, as a JSON string. So the first thing we need to do is first to import the JSON library. Okay, so uh, I assume that you already have the JSON library somewhere. So it's this library that is called JSON 2.3.jar. You can download it from the internet. And now you add, so you go to libraries here, you click add jar folder, and then you just need to import this one and you click choose, and then your library should be visible here in the library. So we can import it. Okay, and now, Let's go to the test method. And the first thing uh, we want to do now is to uh, serialize the two simple books. So first of all, let's create two books, book one and book two. Okay, uh, book one, it has an ID B1, the title Java programming book, and this is the date of publication. This is the second book, B2, C++ programming and book. So now we want to write these two as a JSON string. So the first thing we need to do is to create a JSON object out from the JSON class. Okay. Okay, and this is feasible because we need to import. So first of all, you need to import com.google.json.json, which is basically here. Okay. So it's already uh, in the... That's why we need to import this package. So now we have a JSON object that allows us to convert uh, a particular uh, book object into a string. Okay, so then we create the string. So this is a JSON book one. Okay, and now the way to do it is to write JSON object and then choose two JSON and finally write the object to be converted. So here I'm going to convert book one, and then I'm going to print book one, okay, JSON, the JSON book one that I have created. Okay, if I want to do for book two, same thing, JSON book two equal the JSON object to JSON, and here I will put book two I have created above. Okay, then I just need to take this line, Okay, and now I can print. Okay, let's print. So I'm going also to print the book itself without serializing it. Okay, so the book one without serialization and the book one with JSON serialization. Same for book two to see the difference. Okay, so this is book two here. Okay, now let's we can execute. Okay, so let's execute our test class. Okay, so you can see book one. So this is this line without serialization. Okay, and this is JSON book. You can see now it is actually converted to a JSON message. See, this is book one. This is the name of attribute. And this is the value of the attribute. So book ID. As you can see, it's this attribute. Okay, here we have book ID and B1 is the value of that attribute. Now, this is the title. Okay, then we have book title and the value is Java programming book. So you can see every attribute defined in the class book is then converted into a serialized string. Okay, and finally, we have the publication date. Okay, which is composed of three attributes, day equal to one. Okay, this is the same value we put here. Month equal to one, and year equal to 2050. 
Okay, the same thing also happens for the second book. So book ID, this is the name of the attribute and the value is B2. Okay, and this is the book title attribute and the value is C++ programming book and publication date. Also, it is serialized. So you can see it's really very simple and convenient to use JSON in order to serialize any object. It's very simple. Okay, so here we have used the two JSON method. Now imagine that you have this string and you want to get back the object. Okay, this is called deserialization. So this is called serialization. And now we want deserialization. Okay, so how to do this? Now we have uh, we have let's take this string line, okay? JSON book one. Okay, now I would like to create book. It's called B1, so I will change the name out of this JSON string. So it's so simple. We make JSON dot from JSON. The first argument is the JSON string itself. And the second argument is the type of the class to which we want to cast the JSON, uh, the JSON string. So now in this case, I want to cast this JSON string to a book dot class. Okay, so in order to make sure that everything works fine, I'm going to print B1. Okay, B1 here. And let's see whether we, can, we recover the class itself. Okay, so I'm going to execute. So you can see B1 is exactly the same as book one. But yeah, we do the same for the second book. So now, after uh, making this small example, you are going to generalize this. And now we consider the class library in, uh, that contains an array list of books which you are going to use, okay, in order to uh, save all the content of these books to a file using the JSON format. So this will be the topic of the second part of this short tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.